In today's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at the move face command in SOLIDWORKS. The move face command is one of the more underutilized features in SOLIDWORKS. It allows us to manipulate the geometry using its faces. Typically, whenever you want to manipulate your SOLIDWORKS geometry, you would edit your features that already exist. However, in the case where you're given an imported geometry, like the one that you see on my screen, you'll see that I don't have features to edit. So this would be a perfect scenario to use the move face command. So let's take a look at how we can use that command. First, I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm just going to search for move face, initiate it, and I see that I have three options for my move face command. I have the offset, translate and rotate. We'll take a look at each of these settings on how we can use the move face command. So let's say that the first thing that we want to do is with this uh, geometry that we were given, I want to elongate this cylinder up here at the top. Okay. So what I'll do is collect the faces that I want to translate. In this case, it would be this end face as well as this fillet face. And I want to translate this, uh, let's say about 10 millimeters. You can input your dimensions in here, then press the green check mark, or you can also graphically grab and elongate to about, let's say, about 10.09. And then press the green check mark, OK. And the action has been formed. That action is saved in your design tree as move face one. And as we continue to create additional move face commands, it'll record those in our design tree. So another option is the offset. The offset is similar to the translate, but it deals with sizes more than uh, movement. So here I'm going to take the offset setting, grab the hole on the bottom, and let's say I want to increase the size of this hole by one millimeter. You can see you have the option to reduce the size or increase the size. So let's say I want to increase the size, make the hole larger, and press the green check mark. Finally, we also have the rotation setting. So here, I'm going to grab the back face. Right now, it's uh, perfectly 90 degrees sitting flat, but let's say that this bracket piece for um, our, our needs needs to be at, sitting at an angle. So we'll rotate this about the X, and let's say that it needs to sit at a 10 degree angle on the side, then press OK. Now if we needed to, from here, make the supports on the side longer, I can come back in, add in additional move faces, this time translate that end face, and we can translate that, let's say 10 in a specific direction outward. That has been your video tech tip on the move face command. Thank you.